Ha ha! I haven't even changed my shirt since last week. That's right, folks. This is an experiment in itself. I'm testing the t t t tenacity of the t-shirt to see if it does stand up to all the hype and the, well, whatever. Okay, clearly I filmed this right after the other episode. I hadn't been wearing this for a week. However, I should actually test that out. Did I say test that out? Test that out? I should test that out. I guess what I'm getting at is, welcome back to the Shelter channel. Today, we're gonna go over a really super quick, I promise it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be super quick today. And guaranteed to, well, get your trekking poles to Spain in one piece if you're willing to go the extra mile, and I think you are. If you're anything like me, and you're probably not, but if you were, and if you are, and if you'd like to be, follow these simple, easy, simple, and easy tips, tricks, and hacks, and we'll have you trekking your way across Spain in no time, right? Huh? Huh? Right? Yeah. Hit it! Okay, folks, welcome back. I know, that was kind of a silly intro. I'm just trying to really jam this one in today. Um, I, I, um, th this is gonna be super short. Super tip, trick, and hack. I've been looking in the forums. I've been looking in the forums. I've been participating in the forums, hanging out in the forums, Camino forums, that is. And that's, uh, here we go. It's like any other forum. As long as there's humans involved with the forums, it's not necessarily that happy-go-lucky vibe. Um, not to diss any forums. Did I just age myself by using the term diss? Doesn't matter. Did I say age myself as opposed to dating myself? I did. Anyways. What was I talking about? Yes. So yeah, forums can be, if it's your first time digging into Camino uh, preparatory stuff and you discovered this channel first, good on you. But maybe you've discovered a forum first and had some experiences there. Some people in forums, for whatever reason, if you ask a question, their first answer is Google it! Google it! It's like, but Google takes me to a Camino forum. What better place to ask that question? If you don't like answering questions and helping out future pilgrims, maybe go somewhere else. Why are you here? So that's my philosophy anyways. Always help out the newbies. Always lend them a hand because you were once there and I, I know personally, I'm experienced. There's lots of things Well, I'm Googling because I always like to Google first. That's not true. If I can ask it in the group, I'll ask it there first because that has a higher concentration and probability that I'll find the answer, an educated opinion at least. <laughs> Instead, I end up finding an opinion, many opinions on everything. So uh, you probably had this experience too. And again, it's like any other, any other forum out there run by humans. I was expecting something a little more enlightened like these people who've done the Camino. They're like, you know, we're brothers, we're sisters, we're one big pilgrim family. Buen Camino. Love. And no, 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 no. There's some grumpy folks out there. The fact of the matter is the Camino attracts all types of different people and individuals. And it really is a test in, um, I don't know what it is tested. It's definitely a test though. And those forums can be very testy, if you will. So... Don't take it personal. It's just, you're dealing with all types of folks. But there are folks there, I promise you. Well, you might get a snarky comment here and there. And if you do, my advice, just block those people. You don't have to deal with them ever again. As soon as they show their fangs, block them. You don't need them in your life. You don't need that negative energy. I mean, that's what the community is all about. So, you know, that said, I also have a um, forum that I started, the Kind Pilgrim Collective on Facebook. It's having a slow start because I really haven't talked about it at all, but if you're looking to a, for a positive experience on Facebook when it comes to the Camino and you're looking to pick my brain more, check out the, uh, you know, I'll put a link below, but the Kind Pilgrim Collective, Camino de Santiago Kind Pilgrim Collective, I believe it's called. Yeah, it's growing slowly. Participation is, it's pretty much just me talking to myself, kind of like this channel, unless you comment. So that said, comment below. If you have any, if you share any thoughts in regards to pilgrim forums. My point is, though, and I totally digress. I'm never going to make a short video. Oh, my kid. But my point is, spending time in the last week, I've seen a lot of people talking about trekking poles. Clearly, we're getting closer to departure dates. So people are wondering, can I take my trekking pole? I've been, I've been training with this trekking pole. I love this trekking pole. I know everything about this trekking pole. I sleep with this trekking pole. This trekking pole is carrying my child. 
this trekking pole is carrying me. Whatever the case may be when it comes to your trekking pole, you can get it to Spain. It's gotta be challenging. It might be pricey depending on which route you go. But I will talk about how to mail it to the hotel you're staying in a future episode. But for this episode, I just want to bring, bring up how to actually bring it physically there with you. Kind of. You're separated by maybe a... F- I don't know how much the space is between your flight seat, not your flight seat, the seat you're in in the plane and the luggage hold below. Maybe it's eight feet. That sounds good. Anyways, anyway, that's how much you'll be separated by because you're going to check it. Carry your backpack on. By all means, carry your backpack on. But if you can afford to check your trekking poles, do so. And kind of a gray area hack here. Sometimes they will. you can check them for free as... A baby carriage. I know. I've never actually done that. Well, I did that inadvertently. They said, as they were taking it from my hands, they said, oh, baby, baby stroller. I didn't stop them. I did not correct them. I just waited to see what would happen. And it turns out they would, they were going to check that for free. So awesome. So they just assumed and I went with it. I mean, I, 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 does that make me a bad person? Bad pilgrim. Bad pilgrim. Doesn't matter. So. You can check it and don't worry about it getting lost and don't worry about them getting crushed because if you follow my method, everything's going to be just fine and you will find them. So what you do is you may already have one of these. If you are a uh, camera savvy pilgrim, a tripod bag, if you have a cheap tripod, it probably came with one of these bad boys. These, whether you have one or not, are super, super cheap on Amazon. They probably cost you about $8 the least and maybe $25 the most, depending on the make and model you get. But it doesn't need to be anything fancy. It just needs to be a bag to encase this in, a cardboard tube. And here's another bag design too. This one, this is a new one I just bought. I thought I would up the ante a little bit. It's got like a little raw string here. Uh, however, this is the tube. Also available on Amazon, I'll put a link below, but you can also get this at any paper supply store or office supply store, they typically have these. So this one, I believe, is 25 two inches long, but the length of it doesn't really matter as long as it fits your uh, trekking poles. My trekking poles are about three quarters of this size of this when they're all broken down. So whatever yours are, use that as a um, little measuring stick to dictate what size uh, tube you get. And all it needs to do is fit into the tripod bag. So see, I'm having the same issue with this bag. The tube's longer than the bag. Not a big deal. Just take a serrated knife or a hacksaw or whatever the good Lord has given you with a serrated edge and use that to, well, here we go. Actually, you know what? You could leave this on just to provide some stability while using the hacksaw or using the serrated knife, steak knife. Measure this to be a little bit longer than your actual sticks and cut away and then Pop this right back on to the new size tube and it'll fit. And that is that really. This is also what I also include aside from my trekking poles is a pocket knife and an umbrella. If you are one to use an umbrella. I didn't use one on my last Camino. The one before I did, however, I actually left that. I forgot that in a a bar somewhere. I wasn't even drinking. Yeah, I know. Pro tip. And this is, this is, this really is a pro tip. An Apple AirTag. What I do is I duct tape that to the inside of the lid, put it on. That way I'm able to track this the entire flight. I can see that it's at luggage when I need to get, you know, be there. I can see exactly where it is. I won't lose this. And if I do lose this or it becomes lost, I can tell the airlines where it is. So meaning I can get it faster. And once I get to Saint-Jean or once I get to wherever I'm going, Uh, The hotel, the first hotel or albergue or wherever you're staying, the first place you're staying, you can, you have a couple choices. You can leave this there for someone else. You can forget it in your room. You can throw it out, whatever. Uh, You can recycle it or you can send it to Santiago. So if you have time the next morning before you hop on that bus to Saint-Jean, if you're in Pamplona or wherever, you can head over to the post office and mail this to yourself in Santiago. They will hold mail 
at the post office in Santiago for, I believe, up to 40 days. Please check that. Actually, I'll put it down below in the description, but I'm almost certain it's... Actually, I'll put it right... See? Here? No. I'll put it right here. No. I'll put it right here. This is where I'll put it. But this is how long they'll hold something for at that post office in Santiago. So it'll be waiting for you once you finish the Camino and you need to send this back. And by that point, I do recommend just sending it back through the mail. You don't need to bring it with you anymore uh, on the plane and whatnot. Uh, in fact, at that point, send as much back as you possibly can. Send back your Compostela too. It'll also be in a tube if you choose to buy a tube, which I recommend you do. It's like two euro. Come on, man. Why are you skimping? Why are you skimping? You're going to buy it on... You're going to spend it on wine anyways. Be pilgrim. Buy the tube. But anyways, put the tube in the box with this tube uh, and everything else you need or don't need anymore, that is, like a sleeping bag, whatever, and send that home. If you can afford to. If you can't, check it again. Do whatever you can do. But yeah, just know that you don't have to toss this out when you land in Spain for the first time and not have it on your way back. Uh, that said, if you are in that camp where you do get rid of this when you first land, you're in a rush, you can't make it to the post office, whatever the case may be, you know, there are a couple things you could do. Maybe just throw out the cardboard tube, recycle the cardboard tube, uh, and keep the bag, just roll it up and keep it in your pack the entire time. You could do that. It really, these things roll up to nothing. Granted, every little ounce counts. Some say. But yeah, you could carry this with you. And then at the next opportunity where you do have time, to send something home or send something ahead to Santiago. I mean, in theory, you don't have to send something directly to Santiago. You can send it to Saria first, maybe, uh, the halfway point on the Camino. Because there, you will also get a Compostela for the halfway point. You can, anyways. It's an option. Uh, I think it's free. I can't remember now. The tube was probably two euro also. But so typically, well, the pilgrims I was traveling with, whenever we stopped in Saria, we would go to the post office afterwards and send it home. Get rid of that Compostela because you've got, you know, two more weeks left. You don't want to crush it. So at that point, you could then opt to send this home. Or, you know, after your first few days in the Camino, some people realized, some people, they brought too much stuff. So they will be seeking out a post office and sending home that extra this and that extra that and maybe even the guidebook, putting that on there oh. instead. Pro tip. Pro tip. Yeah. My mistake. It's your experience. My experience is your mistake. My experience. Learn from my experience. Do as I say, not as I do. That's James. It's James. You have options. And that is one great way to get your sticks there in one piece. Many people have recommended getting IKEA bags. I don't have an IKEA near me. I know the bags they're talking about. They're blue. They're made out of like a, a tarp type plasticky stuff. That could work, but they're going to get bent. They're going to get beat up, as you know, with luggage that's checked. They just toss it around. They don't care. They do what they want. Give them a raise. Maybe tip them. Otherwise, they're going to break your stuff. So that's where the tube comes in. So if you do opt for that other choice, I don't know why you would. It's probably, that bag is probably $4. This bag, this bag is $8. So, and it fits the tube snugly. So if you're going to go that route, Still get the two. Something that will withstand the treatment that luggage typically is treated with. And that's it, folks. If you enjoyed today's tip, trick, and hack, please like, comment, subscribe. In fact, please comment. Just comment. For the love of God, comment. I want to know if you want longer videos, shorter videos. I want to know what the content, excuse me. I want to know what topics you want to cover. I want to know what tips you're looking for. However, that's probably not so easy because you don't know what tips I have and... No one can see the future. No one. So please comment below. And also, I want to know how you got your trekking poles there. Now, don't freak out. You can buy trekking poles there. Uh, especially in Saint-Jean, there's two or three stores where you can buy them at. But any place you're landing or going to be at for a considerable amount of time before you step onto the Camino, you can typically find a Decathlon or um, any other outdoor store where you can find... You know, Decathlon sells Decathlon brand stuff. It's not top quality, it's affordable hiking gear. And, well, actually, some of this stuff is really impressive, and the prices are even more so. Depending on what type of stick you're looking for, everyone's built differently, everyone wants... Uh, everybody's different at the end of the day, as we talked about. Especially the people on the forums. I'm a, an expert <laughs> trekking pole guy, so I, you know, I opt for, like, Black Diamond or Lakey's. I like the aluminum. I like something that'll break down small. I use them all the time. I Anytime I go for a walk or a hike, even once I get to where I'm hiking to that day on the Camino, I'll walk around town with the trekking poles. I just really like them. They provide a great upper body workout too if you're interested in that. 
but it's kind of like crawling standing up if you were confused about that. I will do a future episode, however, where I cover all the tips, tricks, and hacks when it comes to trekking poles, but I highly, 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 highly recommend them, uh, especially if you're an older adult, but just for anyone. They, they provide such a better hike. They provide such a better, they make for such a better hike. They really do. And they take all the stress off of your joints on your legs. And it's just, you'll just feel so much better and you'll recover fast the next day. So whenever you can do that, get any type of small advantage for the next day. It's a long trip. Take that advantage. Take my advice. Use a stick. That said, and I'll mention this in a future episode too. There are some people that will use a hiking stick <clears throat> or get their own stick and whittle. Yeah. You got some whittlers out there. I bet you're a whittler. Whittler. Whittler on the roof. Whittler. Um, think twice about that. The Nordic trending pulse, however, may, they're better than the hiking staffs and whatnot. The hiking, the problem with the hiking staff, and, and again, I'll, del I'll delve deeper into this when I do a trekking pole tutorial, but they raise your arm above your heart. Now your blood, you're already using a lot of blood while you're hiking. You're asking your body to use even more energy, pumping the blood up to your fist. That's above the heart. Anytime a limb is above the heart, the heart has to work harder. So really think about trekking poles. Trekking poles, again, I'll get into this in a future episode, but trekking poles are a far better, better on your body. They take away all the stress, not just in the joints and in the shock absorption and all that on your legs. It also takes away the stress. Tap my mic. It also takes away the stress on your heart. And people don't often talk about that. I don't know if anyone's talk, spoken about that. But so keep that in mind. Don't go for the tall hiking stick where you're mountain man, Sam. And you a bear. Maybe. Maybe you don't. Maybe you have a bear named Ben. A bear named Ben. Don't look at me like that. Okay. Look at me any way you like to. Yeah. That's it, folks. So like, comment, subscribe. I know it got a little weird there. I feel you. But thank you for tuning in, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I should probably sign out about now. Oh, I will put links below. This is another thing about the forums. A uh, little rant. I don't know what it is with people. Like you try to, as a creator, you try, you put in a lot of time, effort, and energy into doing what you do. Doing these videos, it's not just a two second turn on the camera thing. There's a lot of editing involved. Most videos take me about 12 hours, sometimes more to get done, to write or ad lib. But whatever, put it all together and then edit after the fact. And there's a lot of work that goes into that. But some forums and groups, if you have links below to products on Amazon or whatnot, um, associate links, they look at it as a commercial and they think that you're, you, you know, you're maybe biased because that's, I'm not. I make my own products. Um, Shelltoucher.com is where we sell our own products. I'm not ashamed of that. I was inspired to do that from the Camino. I wanted to make Camino friendly gear for pilgrims that were going through the same predicaments I was going through. That was my passion. It is my passion. It took a lot of time and energy to put together. And that's what I do. And I love it. Some people write a book. That's what they're drawn to do. Or that's what they're called. That's what they're inspired to do from the Camino. I almost went in that direction. But if you've seen my writing, you would understand that I've saved you. I've saved you some time. Possibly some lawsuits. For me. But, so I put it into designing Camino gear. Camino specific gear. And I've tested my gear on the Camino as well. So anyways, I've done a lot of time. I've put a lot of time, energy, and hard work into that. But when you on the Camino's trying to post about that stuff, people treat you poorly. It's really almost cruel at sometimes. And I don't know where that comes from. It's like a weird resentment. Like it's like someone rising up from the uh, pull them back down. Oh, they're trying to sell something. They're making millions off. No one's making millions off of this. Unless you're a huge corporation. But when you're an affiliate on Amazon, you make pennies. I've probably made a dollar fifty over the course of all my videos. I'm only putting links below. Know this. The only reason why I put the links below is to make it easier for you to find the stuff. And I'll often tell you of alternative things. And I don't have affiliates to all the brands I talk about. I just want to make it easier for you to find these things. So move, maybe moving forward, I won't use affiliate links. I will just tell you the name and you can figure it out yourself. Just so I get permission or don't get accused of shilling in certain groups when I'm not here to shill. I'm just here to help out. And yeah, maybe sell some of my Camino gear that I'm... I've poured my time and energy into that I love and I know you're going to love as well uh, and I back up 100%. If that's a crime, I don't know what I, I don't know what to do. I understand that people hate advertising and commercials. I do too. 
that's coming from corporations that blast us with this stuff every day. I'm one of your own. I'm a pilgrim doing this, not getting rich off of this. It's just something I do. And if I can make a little cha-ching to fund my next Camino, awesome. But I'm not being sponsored. No one's sending me stuff to review. Uh, th these are all my real opinions on products. And these are all tips, tricks, and hacks around those products. And yes, every now and then I will drop one of my own products in the video. Uh, if I have one that um, is thematic to the topic of the video. But I don't know how else to get make people aware of these things. And I don't want to not do them. I love doing them. So that's my TED Talk. Until next time. Is that weird? <laughs>